Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Build a SaaS with Laravel. Like in many other tutorials, we are going to build a Laravel app from scratch. It'll be a software as a service or a SaaS. But in many tutorials, we as teachers pick the ideas that we're going to build based on ideas that are easy to represent with the code or the lessons that we're trying to teach. And this particular lesson, we're actually going to flip it the other way around. We're going to pick a real world production need with real user requests that are often complicated and difficult to map into database structures or whatever else. And we're going to force ourselves to find solutions to those. It's a real app that has been in production for almost a decade. And it's called Symposium. Let's take a look. Symposium is an application I built as a conference speaker to keep track of all the talks I wanted to propose giving or had already given at conferences. For every single talk, it would keep track of what specific words I wanted to say around the proposal, how I changed it over time, maybe some notes for the organizers or anything else I needed to know to make it easy to think of what are the talks I could potentially give at any given conference. But it morphed over time. I originally didn't think about keeping track of revisions. I didn't think about keeping track of my various bios that I was going to have at conferences or the photos I'd use with those bios. Originally, it didn't keep track of all the conferences I could possibly submit to and much more. But over time, my ideas, Adam Wathen's ideas as he's working with me, and the requests of various users made this application more and more complicated in ways that didn't always make sense for what I would expect to build in a Laravel app. And as time went on, we had even more requests, an API, favoriting versus dismissing conferences, and much more. So as we build this app, we will cover all the basic things that you need to know in order to build every layer of our app. We'll do databases and migrations and tests and all the other things that are on the common layer of our app. But then we're also going to take those specific and confusing and often unexpected user requests and figure out how to translate them to database structure or code flows or whatever else is specific to this instance that we didn't plan for that don't always easily map to things that just exist in Laravel documentation. And it's going to be very valuable because we're going to learn how to think on the fly, how to deal with debugging, how to change existing database structures in order to map on specific needs. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around and let's work together to learn how to build a SaaS with Laravel.